Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm talking about the Rolly Flex and using 35 millimeter film in it. I've touched on this subject before in a previous video. If you want to check that out, the links up here. And um, today I want to talk more about the Rolly Kin, which is the adapter that allows you to use 35 millimeter film in this medium format camera. And I want to talk more about that kit and what comes with it, just in case you yourself want to try this out. I also want to show you some pictures that I've taken with 35 millimeter film in the camera to show you that you don't lose as much quality as you would think. And I think you'll be pretty surprised at what you can get with it. So stick around. <laughs> So that was some footage from a still life shoot I did a while back. I mentioned in my first video that I've never used the Rolly Flex without my Rolly Kin installed and that's true. Um, I'll actually be taking the training wheels off after this video so that I can finally shoot it as it's meant to be shot with. And that'll be another video where I actually talk about my Rolly Flex Automat and shooting 120 film in it. But today let's talk about the Rolly Kin. When it's installed you have several masks. You have a mask down in the viewfinder. You have a mask in the window here, and you have a mask also for your lens hood. There will be pieces that you install for the take-up spool and where you load your cartridge. There'll be actual knobs you install. And really, if you're never going to use this area or and you're never going to use a lens hood, you don't really need those masks. The only mask I needed was the one down in here, so I knew which area of the viewing screen was actually going to be on my film. And there's also a film counter knob that came with my set because my particular Rolleiflex doesn't have a counter knob that goes to 36 frames. Some of the models do have that, so make sure you know that, whether you need that or not, before you buy your Rolly Kin. Really how it works is that in the back where the centerpiece is that you install, the film runs over that, gets caught on the sprocket wheel, and as you go on to the next picture, you push in the counter knob to release it from the film, and it allows you to wind on to the next frame. So which Rolly Kin adapter do you need? So. There was the original one in the 1930s and those were equipped with a film cutter and it really just had a special back that went onto the camera and the film cutter was in the back. And that was because back then 35 millimeter film was in bulk rolls and it wasn't in a f daylight loading cartridge like we know today. And over the decade that was improved until they created the Rolly Kin 1 set which was in 1939 up until 1950. And this one finally included a rewind mechanism so that you could rewind your film back into the now used 35 millimeter cartridges, but it works on all pre-1949 models except for the 1930 models. So if you have one of those cameras, one of those Rolly Flexes, you're going to want the Rolly Kin 1. Now next they made the Rolly Kin 2, which is the one that I use. This is for the Rolly Flex models 1951 and on, and these are the models that come with the back already equipped with the pressure plate that changes to the 35 millimeter film. So this set doesn't come with a special back. It just comes with the pieces I mentioned before and shown here. For more details on these sets, I highly recommend this book. It's called The Classic Rolly, and it's by John Phillips. It's a definitive guide, and it has everything about every model, every accessory for the Rolly Flex camera, and it's helped me a lot. And that's it. It's really simple. It's easy to install and to uninstall. I've had rarely any issues with the kit. Um, the only issue I ever ran into was sometimes the sprockets didn't get caught properly on the teeth. I thought the film was rolling and it wasn't. That's basically the only issue I ever had with the kit. So that's it for today. I hope this helped you out some and I, I hope you're gonna maybe give it a try shooting 35 millimeter film in your Rolly Flex. Let me know down in the comments if you have ever used the Rolly Kin or if you plan on it. 
and don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe button because I really appreciate that. So now I'm going to leave you with some pictures I've taken with them, some still life pictures and some regular pictures that I've taken with the 35mm film in my Rolleiflex. So enjoy the pictures and until next time stay motivated and keep shooting.